So let's talk about our uh, go routine example. So here, uh, last class we understand how Go language support multi-threading. That means uh, uh, how uh, as a Go language developer we can start multiple threads, and each thread can do his independent task. Okay. So here, uh, independent task means whatever the function. Task means any function that can perform some set uh, ex going to execute some set of execution. So might be function once is the one task, maybe function two is another task. Okay, function two is another task, maybe function three is another task. Okay. So generally, uh, these uh, functions are always called from the you can function one, function two, function three. Uh, generally, we call from the main function this is the function one call function two call function three call so all these functions are executed sequentially first this completed then go to the next this completed then go to the next this completed and then say hey main function is completed this is by default nature of your uh, go code base but sometime these functions function one function two or function things threes are not to depend on each other so it can be run parallelly or can be run simultaneously with different threads. So this is a very simplest way. Just uh, as you study discuss, let's call about the just go and your function. Go your function. Go your function. Now this function is started and they are not going to wait for this. F2 is also parallelly started. And here F3 is also parallelly started. Started, started, started okay so that means uh, now these three functions are not execute one by one instead all f1 f2 and f3 all are started at the same times so this is uh, known as your multi threading or multitask and in a go language say go routines or you can say sometimes say concurrent programming how uh, go language support to concurrent programming by just keyword go so that was the but now let's uh, study we not uh, give couple of example but today really let's uh, some basic use case and one of the most commonly used problem as a in the multi-threading environments is the producer and consumer problem okay so producer means this is the one task here one function here one threads are the let's say producer threads Producers are producing some data and maybe another threads that are a consumer threads. Consumer threads are responsible if producer have produced data, then they are going to the consumer. So let's producer are producing data somewhere. So yesterday we talk how two threads are communicate or talk to each other by a channel. Okay. So channel is the uh, place where whatever the first thread your yeah, producer threads are produced data they are going to write at this channel and once they written they are going to the wait someone consumer threads come and read the data let's consumer threads come and read data okay now they read data and consume here so once this read data is uh, written let's see producer is going to produce data one and they are not going to produce another data until someone is not going to the consume so let's uh, one is consumed by this consumer threads okay now it's free new data again retained by the producer so this is a very common uh, problem about the producers and consumers right so uh, if in this way uh, let's uh, think how uh, we can write the code okay so how to implement this the very simplest way uh, in the go you can say code base whatever the general you are writing let's uh, for example this uh, producer are going to produce maybe 10 number simple example they are producing number one and wait consumer come and consume this number one okay then uh, uh, producer two produce then consume my producer 2 producer 3 then number 3 
number four, number five in this way. So, these are the objectives, right? So, simple, we are going to write one function that is producing a 10 number from 1 to 10, okay? And uh, consumers is going to consume from 1 to 10, but not the sequence D. Whatever this number producer, producer message 1, they read by the message 1, then message 2, and message 3 in this way, okay? Uh, and we have to ensure that this message is produced, one message, and until this message is not consumed by your consumer threads, producer is waiting. Okay? So this is known as a producer consumer common problem. And uh, whenever uh, any programming language you are going to study about this multi threading concept, it is a very, very, very common and classical problem, you can say. So let us how go uh, language offer very simplest way to implement very very simplest way uh, in any other than uh, any other language that no, go so let's say this is the like we are going to write one function simple function maybe producer producer so i am going to just create one producer so, producers is responsibility to let us uh, loop from uh, 0 to 10 and produce some numbers, maybe maybe message you can say or number that is okay. So, any number of message a producer produce okay. So, here is that. So, this is a very simple code you can just loop from 1 to 10 and just write the message on the channel. So, notice producers are going to produce data on the channel. So, this producer take one input so that key producer and consumer both can communicate. So, here producer threads and this is the consumer threads. How do they are communicate to each other? Both are communicate to the channel. So, we are going to create one main channel and the same channel reference pass to the producer and same channel we pass to the consumer. So, that producer and consumer are able to access this channel. Channel means ki, uh, you can say shared resources between the different Go routines. So, first we are going to create one channel okay, and the each channel pass to the producer. The same channel pass to the producer and same channel pass to the consumer. So, that producer is able to write data and consumer is able to read data. So, yesterday we talk how to write data on channel. Just this is the symbol. Say, hey, this is a symbol. I am going to write this value on the channel okay so this is the and once what the logic we have uh, just written 10 numbers and i am going to the close these channels so let's simply write one function for the consumer what consumer do because they are uh, producing some for loop 10 number so it is just for loop 10 number hey this is the syntax about this is our channel this is our channel so whenever we write say hey this syntax a arrow channel arrow value v1 that means this value is going to write on the this channel and same time i write here hey this is the channel this is a channel and i am say key arrow this way that means whatever the value written in this channel i am going to read and assign to this variable okay and good part whenever you reading this channel channel give a two argument whatever the values we are reading from this channel and is it success or failure something or whenever channel is finished a channel close whenever channel close that means we have to break this loop so due to that in this producer threads we are producing data until 10 data and after that i am saying hey close this channel and later part consumer is consuming data and once channel is closed after that we are going to stop this loop so let's give here message like uh, uh, print then some message printing uh, producer produce data producer produce data send data produce data producer produce uh, produce data value. Producer produce value 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever the value, right? And similarly, let's uh, what the consumer do? Consumer consume the data. This, okay, whatever the value. So, these are simple two functions as of now. There is a no multi threading, 
no go routine from code perspective just say hey this is a share variable where both functions are sharing to each other so let's uh, uh, how to create channel uh, last uh, class we know channel is created in the make and say the channel means uh, just channel and this channel can hold the value of integer so we can write integer data channel may be string channel may be float can things and here let's uh, example we are going to say hey simple this is the producer and this is the consumer and here say hey fmt your main function is execution so till now we are not doing any kind of a uh, go routine simply those two functions producers are pr producing data so notice whenever producer is going to start they have a channel on this channel they are going to write data and this channel is the going to wait once data written after that they are going to wait they are not going to send the second data until it is not consumed so producer produce data and consumer consume data okay good so let's example our loop is just there's just only one message i write just producer produce one data and loop is close they are going to the close channel and after that consumer consume and consume data so this is the one done Okay, okay. Okay, here you have to say our hey producer going to pursue produce and channel uh, going to the consume. And here is the 10 number of data. So till now we have nothing. Notice here uh, our producer consumers are uh, first consumer going to consume and producer produce producer produce one consumer consume one again consume two and uh, produce two consume two produce somehow uh, notice the order can be vary but overall your we have to produce and consume and main is going to exit so what is happening here let's try to understand so till now we have just created one channel this is the channel for the holding the integer value and we are started one producer one producer producer will just 10 loops and they are going to write a one so they have a loop for 10 times 10 time loops they are going to write data one once write they are going to wait some consumer come and consume it if no consumer they are not going to the send new data so and once new consumer come consumer come and consumer going to consume data okay so here notice i have a only two threads one is your main threads this is the your main threads are as a consumer and producer is a separate thread as a go routines so now these two threads one thread is the your main as a consumer i am not started as a go here the so main become as a consumer consuming your data and producers is the different co routines and they are going to be sending a data and one data is produced and let's say uh, what happened if i am not going to write any kind of consumer producers is not going to produce 10 data let's because producer is producing data but no one going to the consume on this okay producer produce and consumer is not consuming and after some time your main is going to terminate it so here notice why the main is going to terminate it i want to at least wait uh, some couple of time but uh, go uh, program is very efficient if they analyze our com go compiler analyze our code and if they found nothing is then they are closing the main programs okay so what i am saying so let's uh, here so i am just going to the consumer and just consumer going to the consume maybe let's uh, uh, uh data okay and after that uh, maybe i want to just after producing let's uh, wait some time okay time dot 
sleep. Let's uh, sleep for two seconds. Okay. So producers are producing data and wait for two sleep. Or you can say just produce data and say I am going to wait for two seconds. And consumer consume and next time they are waiting until producer is not going to produce data. So sometime you can just apply delay and figure out how uh, these outputs are you can say notice where is the output so no now uh, uh, consumer consume again producer produce again consumer consume so in this way some delay apply and you can find out different different output they are going to uh, returns and now after the main function is good okay good so what happened till now the good option we have a only So till now we have a only two go routines or two threads. One channel, one is your go routines and one is your main threads. Main thread work as a consumer and go routine work as a separate thread. Okay, so good. What happened? Main is the separate threads and these are producer consumer maybe separate threads. So let's say here I am going to say hey go also become a separate threads and run and observe the output so now main is a separate thread producer is started consumer is started and notice our producer is main function is going to the stopped or close why because main have only these four kind of works first make channel they create one channel after that say hey request hey go compiler create one separate uh, threads okay they are going to do producing data here it's okay go again create consumer let's another thread consumer consumer going to the consume data okay and after that manage exit so now our main programs are going to exit maybe producer produce something maybe consumer consume something but there is a no main function which are which you are able to see the output so your whole uh, programs go program is going to terminate it so somehow in our main function we have to tell wait until these are not completed so sometime our parent our main function have to wait until our go routines which i started are not completed so let's do how to do okay so for example let's key here i say hey main can you just wait for a couple of times let's wait for 30 seconds or uh, 10 seconds or 20 seconds and you run again so until our main is running producer and consumer are producing consuming but whenever our main time is over might be it will so notice some data they are producing zero and one and two some data they're producing 30 seconds already we have a minute 30 seconds so it will produce some data okay what happened i am not given to 30 second maybe i am very lesser time so might be so let's uh go here let's i seek only for the five second okay maybe six second so six second means key two second again two second again two second. maybe three or four data we can produce and after that man going to close So somehow, if our main function produce uh, producer produce data, consumer consume, producer produce, consumer consume, and producer producer, consumer consume, and after that main function exit because main function is only waiting for the one, uh, five second, and if within a five second they have started two go routine. Whatever the go routine they have uh, produce and consume, that's output we are able to see here. But after that your main close then all the sub coroutines go written also close so somehow might be we don't main function might be not aware how much times i am going to wait here so we have to somehow find out mechanics this producer say hey i am done yeah consumer say i have done both done then we can say hey main function go to close somehow okay so I'll do.
So, this is very simple. For that, this is the one new concept. Uh, go say, just wait. Just uh, kind of uh, need a uh, communication. Uh, your main function, this is your main function. And this is your producer go routine. This is your con consumer go routine. They are talking to via the channel. Okay. And this is the main. So, whenever I am saying, hey producer, somehow whenever this method is done, completed done, then they tell, hey, I completed my job. Whenever consumer is consume all the data, after that say, hey, I done my work. If both work is done, then this main function say, hey, I am going to done. That means our main function somehow have to wait for at least these uh, two go routines are completed. Okay. So, there is a concept of here weight group. So, main function can start some weight group. So, hey, I am going to start weight group for one and weight group for two and waiting. And whenever weight groups, this function is done, I can say I done. When this fun function say I uh, go routine done, completed, they said done something. And now those are automatically weight group. So, here we are going to introduce one concept of your uh, let's uh, variable uh, weight group. Okay. So, weight groups we take. Okay. And here, whenever I am going to say, hey, main threads weight group dots add one and another weight group dots add. So, we are added two in weight group producer and consumer. And now there is no need of time is here. Okay. And once say, hey, uh, whatever weight group I am going to wait, they are main functions because main function is started one weight group and they are saying, hey, one in weight group and another two kind of weight group. But here I am waiting until these two are not completed. So, let us go to the main uh, producer function and tell, hey, once you have done, once you completed your work, just tell weight group, hey, I done. So, that is this weight group I have to pass as a second parameter. Okay. And similarly, you can pass as a second parameter. So, now this producer have a one weight group option. Now, we have a second parameter, weight group options. And what this say? So, there is a concept of uh, might be function weight group dot done. Whenever done, see, I have done. So, notice I have written one new keyword here, defer. Defer is the Go language feature. Whenever say ki, this weight group dot done, I am going to call when this function is going to complete. So, whenever this function producer is going to complete, after that I call done function. So, might be from here, some maybe some exception occur here, from exception occur here, maybe exception from here, anything. From anywhere, once this method, this function is going to finished, I will call this weight group dot done. So, defer means at present they are not going to the call. Once this function is done, after that they are going to the call done. So, best option whenever you are uh, doing some multi threadings or whenever you are doing some file reader write operation and something you want whenever this function, whenever uh, this is my code function is completed, after that a particular method must be invoked. You can say, hey, this is my defer function. You have to call weight group dot done. Once this function is completed, okay. at this line, this code is not executed, but once this is done, after that, this line going to the executed done. So, similarly, let me see producer threads once produce all the 10 item and close the channel, and after that, say, hey, I am done. Similarly, our consumer threads, our consumer threads, and we are simply say, hey, we have a Weight group dot done. This that means whenever this code is done, after that this uh, done function in O. So this is the changes about how threads say and how main function know until 
how many times I have to wait. Maybe this uh, sleep function, maybe the, here we are called some network call, API call, get data and response. So our main functions are not rely on the particular time. Maybe this time can be increased or decreased. So somehow I want to, whatever the time you take, take it. But once your function is completed, just say done. So here our uh, producers have a reference of your weight group. Once this done, they say done. And once this is also have a one, they say done, done. And this function is going to wait. So here say, you can say main function going to wait. Okay. Okay, oh, wait. So they are waiting until this two are not done. Okay. So let's run it. I think there is a okay. We have to import here. Okay. We have to import sync. So now these are sinks are imported. So these are the some basic uh, primitive you can say for the go routine like a uh, channel, like a uh, weight group. These are the many, many times we have to establish thread communication and the parent threads are wait for your child threads, right? So let's run and observe the output. Okay. So these are the, uh, in a Go language, you can say, notice our uh, main function is going to the wait. They are waiting. Uh, our producer are producing, consumer consuming, producer producing, consumer consuming. Again, producer produce, again, consumer consume, again, producer produce, again, consumer consume. And whenever producer done, consumer done, our main function is going to exit. So, in this way, our main functions are waiting for properly producer consumers are completed. Okay. Now, our main functions are not rely on the particular times, how many times we are going to wait. So, this is very basic and good technique. Whenever your uh, uh, parent threads, which are starting separate threads, and they want to wait, all our child go threads are completed, then this uh, uh, thread, you can say, uh, waiting concept are implemented, very uh, synchronous uh, package, library, standard library, and wait group function. So, wait group function, uh, help us or uh, you can say go routines are properly communicated or main go routines are wait for the couple of uh, sub go routine you can say okay so there are definition also uh, wait group wait for a collection of go routines to finish the main go routine call add to set the number of go routine to it and each go routines run and call the done function when finished at the same time wait can be block until all the go routine has finished so this is the monk's function we are going to create go routines and think you add one add two and they are going to the wait at least two go routines are say done the year producer said done consumer said done then say hey it's okay let's go continue the your main function so these are the very basic way where we can implement producer consumer pro problem using the go routine help of the two basic primitives one is the channel another is your what another is your weight group and in a go programming language how to create a thread how to create go routines very simple just whatever we have a routine this is a, sometime you can say function or sometime you can say routines this is the simple you can say function or routine or task whenever you're going to call them at that time say go and function call you can say go routines it's here go compiler understand hey now i am going to create the separate thread for this and these yesterday i told Go language is very efficiently implemented this multi-threading concept. So all this Go producer, Go consumers, 
our go compiler are going to create a virtual or you can say logical threads they are not going to actually create the physical thread for you might be here you can create a multiple go routines maybe two three four tens let's say i created these four go routines might be our operating systems have just kind of a two core available two cpu so at a time maybe this is the our uh, two platform thread this is the one platform threads another another two have, we have only two platform threads so on the two platform threads our many many go compiler uh, can create the go routines might be six go routine we can start it uh, only two cores can manage it means here maybe let's start with this they are going to allocate this platform threads and now this go routines are doing process by this and might be this go routines are processed by this uh, again platform thread this so once this platform thread let's see this go routine is quickly completed once completed this are deallocated and maybe new tasks are again go to the place here similarly this if completed this completed might be they again pass to the new task again so in this way our platform threads are limited due to the each platform threads required some kind of a memory whenever we are going to the launch as a separate threads so due to the hardware limitations our operating system have a limited number of threads but go programming say here any number of function any number of go routine you can start and all your go routines are executed look like a separate thread in the case of look like this is the carrier threads and these are the worker threads worker threads and carrier threads are some logical threads or virtual threads are some the case your platform threads so due to that huge number of go routine can be served by the n number a specific number of platform threads and all this mapping might be case this uh, go routine is started and once they completed three line after that they may go to wait so whenever they are going to the wait our go city will say hey let's go you out wait for some time might be i can allocate another job to this platform thread so our platform threads is more fast more efficient they can serve many number of go routines after concurrent fashion okay so hope this informations help us to understand how go as a go programmer we can create the threads we can do the multi threading for the developers perspective there is a no any kind of more works required just you focus on your business logic just write as a function just write as a function okay and whenever your function you want to communicate to another go routine another threads just use the concept of channel and channel can be studied because discuss channel can be your uh, buffer channel or non buffer channel even you can say hey at a time uh, on this channel by default uh, whenever i am create this one channel by default i am not specify specify any kind of buffering means ki whenever one data going to write by the producer threads a uh, producer is not going to write new data until someone not going to the consume data if this is the data is consumed and then then this new data is going to the place here because by default is the channel is just for the one values but i want let's i want at least maybe three value the production can be produced three value and if three value are full then they are going to the wait but once any data are read by the consumer threads or consumer go routines again new data going to the place so these are the kind of channels maybe channels with the buffered channel as well as and uh, sometime uh, our parent go routine want to control want to wa wait for his sub go routines maybe simple threads they are going to be the concept of your wait group 
ओके सो दीज आर द सम बेसिक्स एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ अबाउट द एंड इन दिस वे फैशन यू कैन राइट मल्टीपल प्रोग्राम्स मल्टीपल सिनारी जस्ट यू थिंक वेयर योर फंक्शन वन फंक्शन टू फंक्शन थ्री आर इंडिपेंडेंट कैन एक्सक्यूट एंड प्रीफर टू यूज द गो रूटीन सो बिकॉज आवर हार्डवेयर इज सो कैपेबल प्लेटफॉर्म थ्रेड आर सो कैपेबल टू रन योर थ्रेड आर टास्क योर बिजनेस लॉजिक एज क्यूकली एज पॉसिबल ओके सो वेन एवर यू आर राइटिंग मे बी फंक्शन वन फंक्शन टू फंक्शन थ्री एंड फंक्शन फोर एंड नोटिस माइट बी दिस टू आर इंटर रिलेट डिपेंडेंट मीन्स की फर्स्ट दिस कंप्लीटेड एंड आफ्टर दैट आई कैन स्टार्ट दिस वन ओके इट्स ओके दीज आर गो विद वन गो रूटीन्स but might be this function might be this function there is no direct relationship with any so these two functions are rightly capable are candidate to start as a go routine as a go routine simply they are started with the separate threads so what the benefit we get from the go routines your code is executed as early your application performance improve and even uh you can say your uh, same codes are reused multiple uh, due to the different context and difference so there are lots and lots of benefit go routines have just go to the uh, look the official website of go documentation and find out go routine is a concurrency programming is very very simplest in this go language but might be in a different programming language like talk about c ya c++ and different programming language like talk about java this programming language if you want to pro, uh, write this code producer and consumers in a lots of different way synchronization wait uh, lots of uh, primitives about the multi threading we have to take in care but in this uh, go language all the primitives things already taken care by library as a go lang developer we are just write simple function and whenever which place i want to call as a separate threads just call go and go routine become a, all the background processing all the logical concept uh, virtual uh, physical uh, platform all the things are taken care by our library itself so hope this informations are helpful you and let's uh, try to implement this uh, producer consumer uh, with the help of uh, your channel with the help of your weight group and this uh, help us to understand okay so let's uh, try to uh, use this any doubt any confusion surely will connect so thank you for watching this